Hey guys, what's up? This is Frank from FGS Sports and Collectibles, and today we're going to be going over every week 16 NFL game. We're going to be looking at some stats, some interesting news heading into each game, and just some highlights and things that I think you might want to pay attention to. Take a look in the background, we have Chauncey Gardner-Johnson, an autograph of him, and then we have Ian Book, who will be starting for the Saints. I'm going to try and make it a thing where if you get an interception off Tom Brady and I have your card, it's going to be in the background for the next video. Um... I had to make the videos that came out yesterday pretty quickly, so I didn't really have time to find one, but it's here, so it's all right. Um, To start off, we have the 49ers facing the Titans. Jimmy Garoppolo and Ryan Tannehill both have over 3,000 yards on the year. Jimmy G, his rating is above 100, while Ryan Tannehill's is 83. Um. That's because Ryan Tannehill's touchdown interception ratio is one to one, not something you want. Jeff Wilson has a touchdown. Donta Foreman has a touchdown. Not really sure who will be starting at running back for either team, but I would guess it's those two guys. Debo Samuel five TDs in the air. He has probably about just as many on the ground. Um, over a thousand yards receiving for him. And uh, the Tennessee receiving core has been relatively disappointing. They will be getting A.J. Brown back this week, most likely. At least that's what so some sources say. The Cleveland Browns take on the Green Bay Packers. This one this one probably won't, won't go well for the Browns. Um, with Nick Mullins probably still going to be quarterback if, we can't, if they can't get Case Keenum or Baker back. Um, he definitely played well last week, but I don't think it'll be well enough to beat the Packers. Rodgers, almost 3,500 yards in the year, 30 TDs, 4 picks. I believe he is leading the MVP race at this point. Nick Chubb, 7 rushing touchdowns. Aaron Jones has 4. AJ Dillon and him, they're split in the backfield. Nick Chubb is over 1,000 yards on the year. Donovan Peoples-Jones, the Browns leading receiver with 478 yards, 3 receiving touchdowns. Devonta Adams, obviously having a great year, 1,200 yards for him, 8 TDs. It's going to be a great matchup, but I'm going to go ahead and say the Packers will probably probably come out victorious. That is a Saturday game, and so is this. The Colts play the Cardinals. Cardinals coming off their loss to the Lions, which is like a huge upset, but they got to beat the Colts to make the playoffs, and I'm going to say they'll, they, they'll be able to do it. The Colts have had a great defense this year, as is usual, but I, I think they'll be able to emerge victorious. Carson Wentz and Kyler Murray, both just over 3,000 yards in the year. Both have at least 20 touchdowns. Murray's 10 interceptions, something he's going to want to work on for next year. Carson Wentz only with, has six. Um, Jonathan Taylor, one of my favorite players to watch at this point. Um, he has 17 rushing touchdowns, and he has some receiving as well. 1,500 rushing yards for him. James Conner, 714 TDs. Cardinals do a great job of throwing him in the goal line to, to take the touchdown. Michael Pittman and Christian Kirk, both with five receiving touchdowns, both with just over 800 yards. Um, DeAndre Hopkins is going to be out the rest of the regular season, and he might come back in, like, the championship game or something like that. But, you know, it's not looking great for their receiving core coming out the rest of these uh, these next few games. Detroit Lions take on the Falcons. Um, you know, Jared Goff really hasn't played all that bad these these past few weeks. He's actually playing better than Matt Ryan. Both have 3,000 yards or more. But uh, Matt Ryan has 11 picks. Goff only has 8. And, um, yeah, this is interesting. Demol Williams, two rushing touchdowns on the year. I, they're really just splitting up carries at that position. Um... Kadero Patterson, five rushing touchdowns, 565 yards. Amonor St. Brown um, and, like, three other people are playing relatively well for receiver in Detroit, but we'll see how it pans out this week. Kyle Pitts leading for the Falcons, 850 yards and a touchdown for him. The Giants play the Eagles. Mike Glennon, I think, is going to be starting the rest of the year. Um, DTD, seven picks. I'm not understanding. Okay, I believe Hurts will be starting this week. He, we don't have 
I don't have his stats here, but Saquon Barkley has two rushing touchdowns. He he really hasn't played all that well this year, so maybe he'll have a, uh, a breakout game this week. Miles Sanders played very well last week, over 700 yards for him on the year. No TDs, though. Devonta Smith, four receiving touchdowns, 741 yards. He's having a pretty pretty good rookie year. Kenny Galladay leading the Giants with less than 500 yards. Their receiving core has just been completely unorganized and not very good this year. Jaguars play the Jets. It's going to be an interesting matchup between Trevor Lawrence and Zach Wilson. Neither have played all that great this year. Both have a QBR below 70, so... I think James Robinson will probably have a pretty decent game. He has 8 TDs on the year, 757 yards. Michael Card has 4 TDs. Marvin Jones, 3 TDs, um, just over 600 yards. Jameson Crowder, just over 400 yards. He has 2 TDs on the year. Neither of these teams have really been able to put together an offense, so I don't know. Tampa Bay Buccaneers play the Panthers. Bucks dealing with a lot, a lot, a lot of injuries. Um, Leonard Fournette could be out the rest of the year or at least for this week and next, probably. Chris Godwin, I believe, is is hurt. Mike Evans was hurt, so we'll see. Um, Brady looking to come back after that shutout, throwing that pick to CGC, or CGJ, as you can see in the background. Cam Newton and I believe Sam Donald will be splitting snaps at quarterback. Chuba Hubbard will most likely be starting at halfback for the Panthers. He has four TDs on the year. Mike Evans, again, I think he was hurt, but we'll see if he plays. He has 11 TDs on the year. DJ Moore will probably hit 1,000 yards. He's sitting at 986 and 4 TDs. Charge play the Texans. Uh, Justin Herbert, 32 TDs, 12 interceptions. Davis Mills, one of the better rookie quarterbacks, to be honest with you. 10 TDs, 9 picks. Herbert's over 4,000 yards. Austin Eckler recently uh, placed on the list of sick people. He has 10 rushing TDs on the year. We'll see if he's going to be able to play. I believe David and Duke Johnson, unless... No, just David Johnson. I get him mixed up because they have the same first initial and last name. Um, Looks like he will be starting at running back for the Texans. Mike Williams has seven receiving TDs. Brandon Cooks has five. Cooks coming off a massive game last week. What I think is going to be the best game of the week, the Bills play the Patriots. I feel like this could be just a completely defensive game. Not a whole lot of points scored, but we shall see. Uh, Josh Allen and Mac Jones have both played pretty well this year, both are rating over 94. Um, Devin Singletary had a rushing TD last week. Ramondre Stevenson will probably get a lot of carries, along with Damian Harris. Not sure what he's done. Stephon Diggs, eight receiving TDs on the year. He is now over 1,000 yards. Jacoby Myers has the touchdown. Again, he just he just is unable to get into the end zone very often. The Rams take on the Vikings. Matthew Stafford, 35 TDs, 10 picks on the year. Rating of 108. Kirk Cousins, 29 TDs, 6 picks on the year. Rating of 101. Both quarterbacks have played really pretty pretty well this year. Dalvin Cooks will not be playing. He has also been placed on the illness list. Um, Darrell Henderson has five TDs on the year. Alexander Madison will get the start for the Vikings. Cooper Cup, 14 TDs on the year. He has 1,600 yards. Going to be facing off against Justin Jefferson with 1,300 yards and nine touchdowns. Two of the best receivers in the NFL today. The Baltimore Ravens play the Bengals. This is going to be a nice... Um, division matchup here. I believe Lamar Jackson will probably be brought back this week. Um, Joe Burrow has played pretty well, rating over 100 for him. Joe Mixon, 12 TDs. The uh, running backs for the Ravens are just, again, they've been hurt a lot, but Devonta Freeman seems to be relatively consistent, averaging 4.2 yards a carry. He has four TDs on the year. Mark Andrews has played outstanding. Um, he has over 1,000 yards, 8 touchdowns for him. Jamar Chase, over 1,000 yards as well, 10 TDs. Chicago Bears take on the Seahawks. Um, Russell Wilson has played poorly the last few weeks. Um, 
Justin Fields, 70 Ds, 10 picks. So another rookie quarterback that is not playing well. He's pretty good on the ground, though. David Montgomery has four rushing TDs, 668 yards for him. Not doing too bad after getting hurt. Rashad Penny has two TDs. DK Metcalf, eight TDs. Darnell Mooney has three. Both over 800 yards. It's going relatively well for both of their seasons. They have over 100 targets each. Um, it's interesting. The Denver Broncos take on the Las Vegas Raiders. Teddy Bridgewater, 18 TDs, 7 picks on the year. Derek, Derek Carr, 19 TDs, 11 interceptions. Javante Williams and Melvin Gordon are splitting carries at running back, so it's going to be interesting to see who will uh, put up more points this week. Josh Jacobs, over 500 yards. He has 7 TDs. I believe he hasn't played very well in recent weeks, but don't quote me on that. Jerry Judy, the leading receiver for the Broncos. Hold on, I just forgot. Teddy Bridgewater will not be playing. Jerry Judy, that means Drew Locke will get the start. Jerry Judy, uh, the leading receiver for the Broncos, has no TDs, 377 yards. Hunter Renfro has had a great season. He's looking to get that 100 reception mark probably in the next week or two. He has 909 yards and five touchdowns. Three games to go. The Pittsburgh Steelers play the Kansas City Chiefs. It's going to be an interesting game. Obviously, the Steelers have been pretty inconsistent this year. Last week, they didn't play all that bad against the Titans, winning the game, I believe, 19-13. to uh, Big Ben, 19 TDs, 7 picks on the year. Mahomes, 30 TDs, over 4,000 yards, 13 picks. Najee Harris, 6 rushing touchdowns, 891 yards. He didn't play very good last week. Clyde Edwards Hilaire, three TDs. Um, he's played all right, especially with that injury that he sustained earlier in the year. Travis Kelsey has a, had a monster game last week. He's up over 1,000 yards, seven TDs for him. Deontay Johnson, six TDs, over 1,000 yards for him as well. Two games to go. The Washington football team face off against the Dallas Cowboys. Garrett Gilbert, I believe, will be starting unless Heineke comes off the illness list. Um, Dak Prescott, over 3,500 yards on the year, 25 TDs, 10 picks. Antonio Gibson, who I believe sustained a minor injury in last week's game, will probably be playing. He has over 860 yards, 6 TDs. Elliott has played pretty well this year also. He has actually the exact same amount of yards. Um, he has 9 TDs on the year. McLaurin and CeeDee Lamb leading their respective teams at the receiving position. Um... They, they've both had pretty, you know, pretty good seasons. So, the last game, the Miami Dolphins faced the New Orleans Saints on December 27th. Uh, Tua, 14 TDs, 8 picks. Ian Book, as you can see in the background, will be getting the start this week. So, I wish him just as much luck as possible. Um... Alvin Kamara has had a pretty good year, four, TD, four TDs. He's been a, a huge part of the receiving game as well. Marquez Callaway, six TDs on the year, 550 yards. Devontae Parker, 450, two TDs. Both have had relatively mediocre seasons. Um, I believe Parker has been injured a lot, though. So it's not necessarily all his fault. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and uh, I will see you in the next one.